Welcome back, friends, with more of the Big Bang Theory. This is the season 7 finale. Last time, Leonard and Penny got engaged after a very underwhelming proposal. Sheldon actually helped Raj realize that he was too dependent on his relationships with women. And yeah, it definitely seems like there's some growth there. Howard's mom's leg was broken, I think. Anyway, this episode is called The Status Quo Combustion. I could definitely see how the engagement might cause the status quo to change, and combustion makes me think, so, think of combustion engines, and in the context of Sheldon loving trains, it might be about that, so we'll see how this plays into it. Uh, full reaction is going to be on Patreon, leave a like, and let's get started. How's your mom holding up? She's doing okay, but we just lost another nurse. How many is that now? Oh. Two. And I know what you're thinking. She's eating them. <laughs> no! No, no one was thinking that. Now that everyone's here. Big news. Penny and I have some big news. We're engaged! Oh my they didn't see this the entire time? <laughs> and I thought me having sex with Emily was going to be the big news. That's right! Yeah! I think that got a bigger reaction. Hey, hey! Thunder stolen. You guys propose all the time. This never happens. <laughs> but they never actually get engaged. Okay, fine. I guess. I'm so hungry today. From all the sex. I wonder why. Because you had sex the other night. Uh, the other night? You know what? It wasn't even yesterday night. That may be it. The university won't let me switch my field of study to inflationary cosmology. Oh. They're forcing me to continue with string theory. Why? Oh, damn. He said it's why they hired me. Everybody has to do things they don't want to do. He then gave an example of something he had to do, even though he didn't want to, which was look at my stupid face. Oh, damn. That's a damn. thing to say out loud. Out loud? <laughs> oh, it went over Sheldon's head. I'm tempted to leave the university. Yeah. I'm really serious about that. I hear there are some exciting opportunities in home care for the old and fat. Howard! <laughs> when I'm feeling low, I have sex with a girl. It's That's Howard in space all over again. Is he going to have sex with Amy? Just oh, based on, on that suggestion. No, life, it is too short. <laughs> I know you've only been here a day and a half, but you're like part of the family! Oh my god. We may need to get used to the idea that we're gonna be living here the next few months. Oh. We don't have jobs. We can't babysit her 24 hours a day. Use our vacation time. That oh, sucks. Hawaii, not hell. <laughs> hell. I don't know what else we can do. Hawaii is not... Looking for tourists. I love you. And as your wife, your mother is every bit as much my problem as she is yours. I want a divorce. Oh! <laughs> okay, it's, Hello, I'm glad Leonard. it was... Hi, Mom. Easily a joke. Oh. I have some exciting news. She's not... I'm listening. ...gonna be excited. Sheldon already told me that you and... Sheldon! You... Oh, my God. I hate that you talk to him more than you talk to me. Would you like for you and me to talk more? I guess not. You know what, it's probably fine. <laughs> <laughs> but Sheldon event, shouldn't have given away that information. I've my misgivings about Penny. She's your bestie! Sheldon spoke very fondly of her, and Aww. if she is good enough for him, then she's good enough for me. What about good enough for Leonard? <laughs> oh I'm my your son. god. What about the, the fact that she's good enough for me? Eh. Nah. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Leonard, would it make you feel better to hear nope, that nope, your mother nope, nope, approved nope. of your life choices? Actually, maybe. Yeah. Well, you should work on that. <laughs> the worst. The worst of mother. It's complicated. I mean, he works with lasers and you atomic have, magnets. You have no idea. You have no idea. No, we did not set a date. No, I am not pregnant. <laughs> First family. <laughs> knock, 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 penny up. Right. Atomic magnet. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late. The leaf blower broke, so I had to hand dry my mother in law. Oh. Whoa. You want some wine? You're not just marrying him, you're marrying his family. He doesn't really Leonard, interact with his family. Okay with me? The question is can she go to the bathroom by herself? <laughs> yes, she can. Oh, I'll just give her the bottle. How would you like a job in home health care? <laughs> Not a chance. Oh man. I'm desperate. No. I'll pay anything you want. Anything? Okay. Then, yeah. okay. <laughs> no, keep your money. Aww. I'm writing an appeal to the faculty senate so that I can move on from string theory. Uh oh. <clears throat> Dear esteemed colleague. Uh oh. As you may know, I have requested to change my field of study. My decision to do so is, I believe, in the best interest of science. At your convenience, I'd be happy to explain it to you in words you'll understand. There it is. I thought we might want to talk about our living arrangements. 
She's spent many nights here, and you're worried about preserving the myth of her virginity before the wedding. No, no. Let Penny live with us one day a week for a trial period. Obviously not when she's made cranky by the shedding of her uterine lining. Wow, wow. That's very sweet. <laughs> but we were thinking more of us maybe living together with... Out you. Not you. But how can we all live together if I'm not there? We're not all living together. Look, maybe I'll move in with Penny, or maybe she and I'll take this place and you can move across the hall. Okay, move across the hall? But that's not a spot. Did you take a marijuana? <laughs> take a marijuana. <laughs> uh. I see. Uh-oh. You're putting your future bride's happiness above mine. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, Sheldon. Leonard has the audacity to suggest that now that he and Penny are engaged, he may not want to live with me anymore. Here, I made you some strawberry quick. I have real what problems about? here, Amy. You're always complaining about what a terrible roommate Leonard is. He is? Like how he turns up the thermostat when you're not there. Oh, it's like walking oh. into the Amazon. And not the good Amazon with one day shipping. It's an awful one with birds and snakes. I think that... You hate the sound Business of Amazon's worse. See, maybe you'll love living alone. I don't know. Or with a roommate. You and I could live together. You would. Oh, sure. And while we're at it, why don't we get engaged uh, too? I saw no. you make this strawberry quick with syrup, and you're supposed to use the powder. It tastes the same. No, the syrup tastes better, and I don't like it. It tastes better, and you don't. Oh my God, he's this impossible. Is so Cook for me all the time, and she does. Ugh. <laughs> Fair. I like my cookie. Sorry, I'll get better. Well, I know you'll try. You'll try. <laughs> Should we talk about setting a date? Well, I'd like to pick one that works with my brother's schedule. Okay, and your when brother. Uh, twelve to eighteen months from now, depending on good behavior. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I was really angry that you suggested he move out. Oh. I also mentioned that he and I could live together, but he was too mad at you to realize what a great idea that is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So what are you guys doing? Having a romantic dinner. Nice dinner, you know, as a newly engaged couple. That's nice. And she's just gonna sit there and stare. <laughs> Sheldon probably just needs a little alone time. Kind of like us. That's important. Don't I know it. <laughs> What is that, polenta? Amy, get out. Right. Aww. <laughs> Amy, get out. What? Hey, Sheldon. What happened? I was cooking in the back room last night and the hot plate caught on fire. What the? You couldn't put it out. I was across the street at the do-it-yourself car wash taking a shower. <laughs> oh, don't. Oh, my God. I don't mean to be rude, Sheldon, but uh, my life is kind of falling apart right now. Your life? No, the no. university Sheldon. is making me Sheldon. the theory. I do not accept this. Everything is changing and I hate it. It stops now. I'm helping you get back on your feet. You are? How? I would like to purchase this comic book, please. This leaky comic book? It'll be $2.99. Can you break a 20? No, I only have hundreds. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss, but you're not the only one whose day has been a disaster. There's a different magnitude of disaster, man. It could have killed me. Can't catch a break. <laughs> Poor Stewart, Jesus Christ. Well, I'm gonna see where he is. Cow. Cow. Uh, I know you his password. Put a tracker? So track his phone. Sweet, how you look out for him. You're a good guy. It's not just that. My mother would kill me if I let something happen to him. Oh. Don't take this the wrong way, but did you do this for the insurance money? No, God, you sound like the police, the firemen, my parents, my therapist, and the insurance company. Oh my God. I was wondering if I could crash at your place for a few nights. Sure, of course. Oh, actually, Emily was gonna spend the night. You slept with her? Nice. Well, nice. I can't take all the credit. She let me do it to her, but... <laughs> what the heck? On, I know a place you can stay and earn some oh. money at the same time. Oh. It'll involve humiliation, degradation, and verbal abuse. Is so this a sex thing? What's the catch? So, what's the catch? You tracked my phone? Yeah. Yeah. Boy, you chase one balloon for three miles. <laughs> three miles? 
I'm just getting on a train and leaving forever. What? My plan is to stop at malls and buy what I need. <sighs> it's called living off the land. <laughs> Not what that means. I know you're upset. A few things don't go your way, and your best decision is to ride the rails like a hobo? <laughs> yes. I suppose it is. Maybe we need to let him go. What? Why? It might be good for him. Yeah. You might, know I, he can't take a trip like this by himself. He's a grown man. No, he looks like a grown man. <laughs> I think she might be right in this You've instance. You seem freaky. He'll be okay. You taught him well, Padawan. Good lord. What? No, Padawan's no. the student, not the teacher. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, let him go. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. Of course you are. I know. <laughs> you just made that easier. Yep, uh-huh. <laughs> it's fed, she took her pills, she's all tucked in watching TV. Cool. So she's not too much for you? Are you kidding? I love her. She's great. Uh-huh. Stowie! Coming, Debbie! Debbie? You call her Debbie? She insisted. What? So, hey, guys, thank you so much. This job is a dream come true. I guess compared to... He's got a skip in his stuff. I don't know why, but something about it feels... Unnatural. Unnatural. We better okay. get out of here. Okay, Sheldon, thanks for checking in. <sighs> Talk to you tomorrow. He was able to take a sabbatical from- I'm gonna let him go! <laughs> <laughs> Betty's just like, checking her fake fingernails. Oh my god. <laughs> Aww. So my thought about this episode having to do with trains was technically correct based on the episode title, but I thought Sheldon would just like go to the train store or something to cope with changes. Instead, he's getting on a train and just leaving. The irony is that that's going to be more of a life change than everything that's happening in Pasadena, unless he goes just to like his mom's or something. I do think the trip will be good for him though. And I know I probably didn't sound very empathetic to Sheldon's plight in this episode, but I am. Uh, everybody has things that they struggle with more than others, and while I'm frustrated at times with how he expresses it, I do understand that so much change is extremely difficult for him. And at the same time, seeing him compare what's happening to him to the absolute cruel joke of Stewart's life was very hard to watch. They're not even in the same stratosphere of adversity, and him downplaying Stewart's trouble makes me curious how he'd handle something similar. Like, he and Leonard had that break in several seasons ago, but this is so much worse. So yeah, with Sheldon, I feel bad for him, but I'm also super frustrated with him at the same time. Poor Stewart, though. I hope the insurance money is enough for him to rebuild if he wants to. It often felt like the store was kind of a financial noose around his neck, though, just like tightening. So even like his so-called friends would try to negotiate his prices down, even though they make more than enough to support their friend. And yeah, Sheldon saying he was going to help save the store by buying a comic for a single dollar. Oh man, that was rough to watch. And yeah, Stuart winds up getting lodging and a job and is very happy by the end of the episode. All the home health care people didn't want to help Mrs. Wallowitz. Penny couldn't handle it. Bernadette didn't want to give up her precious Hawaii vacation days to take care of her. Which, side note, yeah, native Hawaiians have been begging people not to visit Hawaii, but people still take their vacations there. And you hear people say things like, but we're helping them via tourism. It's just real colonizer and savior mentality. I'm not saying Bernadette's a bad person for wanting to go. Most people are actually completely unaware. And I think you can still go if you actually do so respectfully. The problem is that so many people who go there now are destroying the local environment. They're disrespecting the culture and the people there. And they're exploiting workers. I myself am interested in going to Hawaii, but I'd much rather go to a place that's actually asking for my tourism. But yeah, back to the main point, which was that Stuart was kind of a perfect fit for this job in taking care of Mrs. Wallowitz. He calls her Debbie. I think that's the first time we've actually heard her name. And I guess, yeah, because he's used to the humiliation and degradation that comes with working as a comic book store owner, that this seems like an easy gig for him. But yeah, I'm not sure if he wants to eventually go back to owning a comic book store. Like, I hope if he does do that, that it'll be a very different dynamic, one that's not like so wrought with frustration. And yeah, while I'm on the topic of socioeconomic issues though, Sheldon was saying that Leonard raising the thermostat made the place feel like the Amazon and not the good Amazon, referring to Jeff Bezos' company. Oh my god, like this episode aired like a decade ago, um, but what a ridiculous take. Our vapid consumerism is just so depressing sometimes. I felt a little sad for Leonard and Penny and them having their engagement overshadowed by so many things in this episode. First it was Raj having sex, but yeah, they wound up being super excited for him too. But then, oh my god, Raj just kept bringing up the sex thing as much as he could, almost as much as Howard kept bringing up space after he went up to space. 
And then, yeah, uh, they had to deal with Sheldon putting a damper on their engagement as well. Leonard says that Sheldon's just a child in an adult's body, and it does feel like that at times. I think I've talked about this before, but it definitely feels like Sheldon grew up too fast and is stuck developmentally as a child. And then there's Leonard's mother. Oh my god. She is just the worst parent, and she made the fact that he wanted approval from her a him problem? Like something is psychologically wrong with him because he wants his mother's approval? And yeah, like this episode also kind of primed me to be annoyed at Sheldon because he told Leonard's mom about the engagement before Leonard had a chance to. Like, what the heck, man? So yeah, a lot of frustrating moments throughout this episode. Uh, some people think with episodes like this that I'm somehow not enjoying the show, though, and that's not the case at all. Like, the fact that I get frustrated with the characters and what they're doing is proof that I'm engaged with the show. And I don't think any of it's, like, poorly written. I just empathize with the characters and feel their frustrations as much as I can as if they're my own. And I get a lot of people, like, chirping in the comments, like, if you don't like it, don't watch it, as if analyzing things in the show is somehow not enjoyable. Anyway, that's a complete other tangent. But yeah, Sheldon gets on a train and leaves. Penny actually thinks it might be good for him, and I think I might agree. He has the luxury of being able to just walk away from his life, so if he wants to take advantage of that, it could wind up being a mistake or something that Sheldon regrets, but sometimes you just have to do what you feel in the moment. Uh, Amy was not too happy about it, though. Thankfully, it's just a pillow that she's waving around and hitting Leonard with. Um, but it's interesting that she hit Leonard and not Penny, since Penny was the one who pushed Leonard to let Sheldon go in the first place. But I guess Amy could never really be mad at her bestie. Uh, but yeah, curious to see what condition Sheldon will be in when he gets back, or wherever he is uh, at the start of the next season. And actually, the storyline I'm most invested in right now is somehow Stuart's life. He's a side character, but I just want him to be okay. But alright, thanks for watching. Full reactions can be on Patreon. We're four weeks ahead over there as well. Leave a like, and I'll see you all next time with more. Bye, friends.